What is going on everybody? Roadrunner Tutorials here with another keyboard shortcut video. This time we're going to go into After Effects. Just a quick disclaimer before I start this video, a lot of these keyboard shortcuts are for the beginner or intermediate users of After Effects. If you are advanced user or have been using it for some time, you probably know a lot of these already. So with that being said, let's get started. I have After Effects open up here. And the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is the page up and the page down keys. And you probably don't see the playhead moving, but when I'm going page up, I'm going back one frame at a time, and page down is one frame forward at a time. And to go along with that, you can also hold the shift key, and if you go page up, you're going 10 frames backwards, and if you're holding shift and page down, you'll go 10 frames forward. The next one is pretty simple, and like most Adobe products, if you hit V, you come up with the selection tool. So if you had something else selected, whether it was the hand tool, and you just wanna go back to the selector, just hit V. So for this next keyboard shortcut, as you can see here, I have this little square spinning. Um, anytime you have a layer that has keyframes and you wanna bring them up, no matter what they are, if you just hit U on the keyboard, that will bring them up. And as you can see here, I only have one set for rotation, but let's say I set some hypothetically for no reason in particular for you know, opacity or position. So now it does a whole bunch of stuff. If I just hit U on my keyboard, it will actually bring up all the keyframes for all the things that I have just changed, which is, which is pretty handy if you need to change something or make something faster or slower. Um, you can move the keyframes like that rather than, um, rather than opening this up and like going into contents and transform. Um, and you know, for a shape layer like this, it doesn't make a huge difference, but when you've got like layers upon layers upon layers and adjustment layers, and um, especially when you're working with a lot of different effects all in one, this keyboard shortcut has really helped out a lot. The next one is really easy to remember. It's H for hand tool. If you need to move around the composition window pretty easily, or if you're using the pen tool and you don't wanna just go back and forth between hand and pen, hand and pen, um, you can just hold down space bar and you can do that. So if I'm zoomed in and I'm working on some, some details, um, I like to have whatever tool selected, selected and then I just hold down space bar to move around the composition window. So definitely a handy one. This next one you'll probably remember from my Premiere Pro tutorial. I believe I did the same one, but like most Adobe products, if you hit the tilde key, I believe that's how it's pronounced, you can maximize any panel that you're in to full screen, which is great. So if I had a lot of layers here, it would just be kind of a pain to kind of scroll through and scroll through. So if I just hit the tilde, it will bring them all up. If I'm trying to organize, let's say I had lots of folders or compositions, pictures, videos, layers, it's sometimes easier for me at least to expand this panel, your project panel, to organize stuff much easier and quicker. The tilde key. It's uh, above the tab key and next to the one key. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is the pen tool, which is, you can actually find the pen tool up here, or you can hit G on your keyboard. And this is really great for, you know, quickly drawing shapes, or if you need to draw a mask, you can come up here and hit the create mask. And makes it really easy to draw a mask real quick. So G for pen tool. Next, we have the W for rotate. So let's throw a square on here. And let's say I wanted to rotate that. I can do it two ways. I can come down here and click on my layer and hit R, and that will bring up the rotation properties. Or I can hit W on my keyboard, and I can actually click on uh, the shape and spin it very easily that way as well and that is going to be W for rotation. This next one is going to be Q for create shape or mask. And you'll notice up here, it will show you which shape you have selected. So now the star, if I hit Q again, it'll cycle to the square and you can kind of just go through them all. And if you hit Alt and click on it, it will cycle through them. And if you double click, it will automatically put that shape into a layer on your composition. And also if you're for whatever reason you can't draw a mask with it, just make sure you click the layer and you can go over here to tool creates mask and then you can mask out whatever shape you want and you can invert it. So Q, it's a really good one to know. 
This next one is very easy to remember. It's the type tool. And you're just going to hit Command T, and this will help you create a text box where you can write uh, whatever you want. Roadrunner is awesome. Look at that. There you go. Command T for type tool. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is going to be M for mask. You can obviously see I have a circle here and I masked out an even smaller circle within that and if I hit M it brings up the mask properties here and I can change the blending mode to subtract or lighten or I can invert the mask that way. This next keyboard shortcut kind of goes along with the last one for mask. This one is actually going to be F for feather. If you wanted to feather the mask, make it blend a little bit better, just F on the keyboard and you can change the feather properties. This another one is going to be creating ins and outs for your work area. So I have another rotating square here and let's say I don't really want to render out 12 seconds of my composition. So I can simply just hit the B and the N key on my keyboard and that will create a smaller work area so I can focus on one specific small area rather than rendering everything out. And let's hypothetically say, you know what? This is the only part of the composition that I want. I can also hit Command, Shift, and X, and that will trim the entire comp to just my selected work area. Let's say you're zoomed in or out on your composition window. If you just hit Alt and Slash, it will fit it to the composition window. And the last one I have for you today is going to be Precompose. This one is really my favorite. Let's say I had several layers and I had a lot going on here and I just wanted to pre-compose them. I can go Shift, Command, and C and it will give me the option right here to come up with a new name. So we're just going to put squares. Oh, make sure you spelled that right. Squares. Bingo. Now you have a pre-composed layer. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.